Manifesting, the art of bringing your desires into reality through the power of belief, often defies the logical constraints of our analytical world. In a society that values empirical evidence and rationality, the concept of manifesting may appear outlandish, yet it is precisely this willingness to embrace delusion that can be the key to unlocking the potential of manifestation. Manifesting revolves around believing in something that you cannot perceive with your five senses. In a world where empirical evidence is prized, this can be an uphill battle. From childhood, we are conditioned to view the world through a lens of analytical thinking. If it makes sense logically, it must be true. However, this mindset, while suitable for scientific discoveries, falls short when it comes to manifesting. Manifestation, at its core, is the act of materializing something through focus and belief in the non-physical realm. The penchant for scientific proof is deeply ingrained in our culture. Whether it's adopting a new diet or embarking on a new venture, we often demand scientific research to back our decisions. However, manifestation operates in a realm that transcends the boundaries of empirical evidence. It is a process that transcends logic and rationale, making it both mystical and alluring. As children, our innate ability to embrace imagination is nothing short of extraordinary. Picture a scene from your own childhood when you effortlessly slipped into the shoes of a doctor, an astronaut, or a magician. These moments were a testament to our boundless imagination, where reality knew no limits. We were free from the constraints of our five senses, capable of envisioning worlds and scenarios that defied the norms of the everyday. In those cherished years, our imaginative prowess was a natural state of being. We dreamed without reservation, believed in the fantastical, and held no regard for the confines of logic and reason. It was a time when our minds were open to the vast expanse of possibilities. Our senses, while valuable for understanding the tangible world, were not the sole arbiters of our reality. Consider this story. Imagine a child who passionately believed in the existence of imaginary friends. To the child, these friends were as real as any person they could touch. In the eyes of adults, this was merely a product of a vivid imagination, something that would fade with time. However, the child's belief was unwavering. They spoke to their imaginary friends, shared secrets, and even set a place for them at the dinner table. To the child, the line between reality and imagination was blurred, and that, in itself, was a remarkable feat. This story highlights the innate capacity we all possess to embrace imagination. We are able to shape our perception of reality with our beliefs and thoughts, and that's why it reminds us that reality is malleable. In the context of manifestation, this early inclination to embrace imagination becomes a vital asset. It teaches us that being delusional, in the best sense of the term, is not a departure from reality, but an invitation to explore the vast landscape of what can be achieved through the power of belief. The transition into adulthood often marks a pivotal shift in our mindset. We're gradually molded by societal norms to rely solely on our sensory experiences and the tangible world around us. The very concept of manifesting with its reliance on belief and the non-physical, can be met with skepticism in this stage of life. When we express our desires to others, we are often met with questions like, where is the proof that you will achieve it? Many people abandon their dreams when they seem too far away or vast due to this rational thinking. The prevailing sentiment in adulthood is often one of caution and prudence. People tend to weigh their life goals meticulously, searching for empirical evidence or rational justification before daring to pursue them. This tendency to limit our ambitions and stay within the confines of what seems logical is a common narrative. As a result, numerous individuals lead unfulfilled lives, their dreams shackled by the chains of realism. In the words of George Bernard Shaw, the reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. 
In this quote, the importance of embracing delusion in manifestation is emphasized. It is the unreasonable individuals who dare to break free from the boundaries of logic and reason. Those who persist in imagining and believing in the seemingly impossible, who often achieve remarkable feats. In the realm of manifestation, prudence has no place, and it is the audacious and unreasonable who tap into their full potential. Delusion, often perceived as a negative term in everyday language, takes on a profound significance in the context of manifestation. To understand its importance, we must shift our perspective. In the realm of manifesting, being delusional isn't about irrationality or detachment from reality. Instead, it's an audacious and unapologetic belief in the unreal, the daring conviction that defies logical constraints. Rational thinking, while invaluable in many aspects of life, only takes us so far on the path of manifestation. Think about it this way. To achieve your desires, you must abandon the confines of excessive realism. Realism, in this context, serves no purpose. You must create goals that defy your current circumstances, goals that may appear extravagant or even absurd to the outside world. Your current reality is not a reflection of what you will attain. Rather, it's a product of your past self's beliefs and actions, a self that may not have been aware of its own potential. The very essence of being delusional in manifestation lies in the audacity to believe in your dreams, even when they seem impossibly distant. Neville Goddard aptly referred to this as brazen impudence, a term that encapsulates the unyielding determination to manifest your desires, regardless of external circumstances or conventional wisdom. Consider this. In the annals of history, countless visionaries and pioneers were deemed delusional by their contemporaries. Thomas Edison's pursuit of the light bulb, the Wright brothers' dream of human flight, and Steve Jobs' vision of a personal computer in every home. These were all considered delusional aspirations at one point, yet they defied the norms of their time, dared to be delusional, and ultimately reshaped the course of human history. Being delusional in manifestation is not a deviation from reality. It's an invitation to explore the boundless possibilities that belief can unlock. It challenges us to go beyond the confines of our senses and embrace the limitless potential of our minds. As we embark on this journey, we discover that the very essence of manifesting lies in our ability to dream without restraint and to believe in the unfathomable. To manifest effectively, it's essential to redirect your focus away from your current reality if it doesn't align with your desires. Imagine this scenario. You find yourself on the brink of financial crisis, yet your goal is to become a millionaire. While this aspiration may appear audacious, given your current situation, it's crucial to remember that manifestation operates outside the bounds of conventional thinking. In the face of adversity, negative emotions such as fear, uncertainty, and hopelessness may attempt to engulf your consciousness. This is where the test begins. Not only must you release these emotions, but you must replace them with positive, empowering ones. Meditation, a simple yet profound practice, can serve as a powerful tool in this endeavor. By dedicating a mere 20 minutes each morning and night to sit in silence, focusing on your breath, you can observe the transformation within yourself. By practicing this practice, you will be able to witness the ebbs and flows of emotions and create a space for more positive ones to emerge. Affirmations, another effective technique, can reinforce your shift in focus. For instance, if your goal is financial abundance, repeat affirmations such as, I am wealthy and prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly. I am open to receiving abundance in all areas of my life. These affirmations serve as a conscious declaration of your desired reality, helping to reshape your thought patterns and beliefs. Through the power of consistent affirmations and a deliberate shift in your thinking, you align your consciousness with the very essence of your desired reality, paving the way for manifestation to occur. Imagination is the linchpin of manifestation. It is the secret source 
in the recipe of turning your dreams into reality. Although adulthood may have caused many of us to leave our imaginative tendencies behind, we occasionally employ our imagination to foresee negative outcomes, a practice often referred to as prudence. In manifestation, there is no room for prudence. You must embrace impudence, understand that you possess the power to grant yourself whatever you desire. There is no external deity to beseech, no reality beyond yourself. Everything lies within your mind. You can design your desired life in your imagination and assume the feelings of having already achieved it. 